Okay, here is the RADA apart. You'll notice that I've soldered in a replacement transformer for this. This has an open secondary. The primary uh, measures 21K. So this transformer must have had very, very fine wire wound in it. The one that's in here is a, is a replacement that I'm trying, I'm going to try, that I got from AES. If that one doesn't work exactly right, I'm going to try this one, which I also got from AES, or tubes and more. Now the difference is in the actual resistance, the primary on this is uh, 500 ohms and the secondary is 1.5K quite a bit lower in resistance in actual not impedance mind you this is actual resistance than this transformer this one it's 1.2 on the primary and 4.5 on the secondary this transformer will probably work better but I'm going to try this one anyways now I've fixed all the bad connections that I could find I still suspect that the tube uh, connections on the bottom are not clean enough I cleaned them but I've done all that, tightened up and cleaned all the connections that I can on it. Now here's the tuner assembly removed. I've checked all the connections, especially these, these little spring connections uh, that solder on this center post. Checked them very thoroughly with my ohmmeter. This one I touched up, cleaned up and made sure that I was getting zero ohms. I also measured down to here through the coils it measures two point I think 2.1 ohms and then I rotated it to make sure that I wasn't losing connections I checked virtually every connection on the tuner assembly to make sure that there was no high resistances or or open uh, circuits and it uh, I believe it's as good as I can get it Well, you can see that I'm making a little progress with this thing. It tunes Rush Limbo. <laughs> There's a lot of touchy loose circuits in this thing. I pretty much thought I got them all. And I think part of the problem is the pin connections to the bottom of the tube of the detector tube. But I've checked all the connections in this. I just can't seem to keep it going. It's almost like there's a loose connection somewhere I can't find. This is being tested without uh, Rick's capacitor addition, the uh, 270 picofarad capacitor.
definitely seems like there's bad connections here, but I've checked them all and I'm going to check them again. I'm going to check the coil spring connections that connect from the shafts to the uh, components. I did before and I thought I fixed a few, but I may have missed something. So this is how far I've gotten with it so far. I managed to seem to find a stable station. It's not very loud. But we're getting there.